So I haven't said this one in a while. This is the best Intel laptop that you can get right now. I was actually just at IFA in Berlin for its announcement. This is the Asus ZenBook S14. Specifically, this is rocking the Series 2 of Intel chip. So I have the Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, the 258V chip. I think this is the best version of it. Obviously, we have the 5, the 7, and the 9. But for the price, I think you're getting the best bang for your buck in terms of performance. And this thing has really gotten a lot better. And I would say even better than its AMD counterparts right now. And if you have seen an Asus ZenBook laptop lately. I really love uh, what they're doing. They're just so thin, so lightweight, and it's kind of forged out of this new material that they've come out with. It's uh, called Serra Aluminum. It's essentially a ceramic oxide that they put over top of the aluminum, and depending on the amount of pigment, electricity, and how long it takes, that gives it its final coating and color. So it comes in the two color options, either the gray or the white. It's this really premium and rich material. It's scratch resistant, fingerprint resistant, and it's just awesome to see a company that's usually focused on like like performance put so much thought and uh, you know time into something like design because that impacts how you use the laptop you interact with it physically so kind of obviously opening it up like I said razor razor thin so this is 1.1 centimeters 1.2 kilograms it is super lightweight like easily picking it up with just two fingers on the inside we're greeted with a 3k 120 Hertz OLED panel so obviously you get all the benefits of OLED it just has really nice deep and dark levels it's touchscreen the bezels are razor thin it's just been really nice to use uh, for content and for the rest of it they actually have this new uh, little design pattern for the venting up top essentially the cooling vent CNC into the laptop and uh, full-size keyboard which is nice to use and I like that there's just no funky RGB lighting it's just white it's bright it's clean and then a full-size trackpad which you can actually control both uh, the screen brightness kind of going off to the side where it has smart gestures built in. So for example, on one side, you can control uh, things like brightness. On the other side, you can control volume. And then up top, you have like, for example, video playback, which is really nice to use. And like I said, the big hype around these new Intel laptops is the performance of them. So for example, I ran some benchmarks. This is better than the latest AMD chips that just came out in, even in some instances uh, better than the M3 chip, which obviously is pretty impressive. So what actually makes this really good too is the power efficiency on it. And I know looking at some of Intel's numbers, they are uh, pretty high up there, but even in my initial testing, just having this kind of at idle sitting there, it just kind of stays on all the time, like obviously all day long battery life. It's super silent. I rarely hear the fans ramp up. And when I use it for, you know, what I use a laptop for mostly, uh, you know, staying productive, doing some work on say Photoshop, Lightroom, obviously uh, browsing the net, answering emails, running my business, uh, you know, doing a bit of like social media stuff on it. This thing was able to crush it completely fine. So for it being super thin, um, a lot of people will ask about gaming, but typically for a thin lightweight laptop, uh, you wouldn't be able to play any AAA titles. You can manage them on this, as long as you're okay with like console level frames, like 30 frames in those mediums, settings any other like mid-range games if you're playing say like fall guys like overwatch you can obviously run those at higher frames performs great and even for gaming for a laptop this thin this lightweight uh, compared to the competition i think it really blows it out of the water and it's honestly such a big improvement over uh, series one which uh, intel had previously i'd love to see this chip inside some of the newer gaming handheld consoles with the power efficiency with its performance i think they would be honestly a really great combo for the rest of the specs uh, this has 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, a terabyte of M2 storage, and like all the core ultra lineup, uh, 5, 7, and 9, they all have integrated graphics. That's part of Intel's Arc graphics. The battery, which I've touched on, I've seen a couple teardowns. It actually takes up quite uh, the amount of space. So it's 72 watt hours. It also comes with a 65 watt charger, which you can just charge it up. So it has the two USB-C ports, one HDMI 2.1, obviously a headphone jack. And on the other side, it just still nicely has a USB-A port, which is pretty much the size, or I guess the width of the overall computer minus uh, obviously the top layer or the top lid. Next, we've got uh, the speakers. So there's four of them. They are tuned by Harman Kardon. Honestly, they sound pretty good. Bass is nice and deep and uh, they get pretty loud and Lastly, obviously this being an AI PC, it's got its own dedicated NPU with 48 tops. Like I typically don't uh, always use some of the AI uh, features on it, but uh, for example, if you're not someone that utilizes it, it still kind of works in the background. For example, with the webcam, it helps uh, cancel out noise, even with the built-in like microphone that helps remove any unwanted background noise. And if you are someone that uses like, for example, a Windows Copilot to ask it a ton of questions. And obviously last but not least price, which kind of relates back to the Core Ultra 7, uh, the model that I have here, which I I think is right around that sweet spot. So $1,400 for an ultra premium, ultra thin, super, super efficient. Like the battery life on this has been great. Performance has also been really surprising for something like this thin, 
this lightweight at 1.2 kilograms with a very premium finish. I think uh, Intel has hit it out of the park with this one. So if you're grabbing one, let me know your thoughts. Would you get it in gray or the white? Like I said, the Sarah aluminum finish is really nice. Um, I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.